Uh, lads, okay, this one here for instance, okay, let u be equal to uh, 1 plus 2i, show that for real a and b, 1 plus 2i equals a plus bi equals the mod of u squared. Now, if it's the first time you've seen it, alright, you just got to take the parts out that you understand. So if you're attending this in a test, you know what this means. You know it means get the length, okay, so you can do that part right away. So you can say that it's going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared and that's going to give me the square root of 5. Now once you've done that, what you realise is that you're meant to square the answer. Okay, so it's going to be root 5 and it's squared outside. Okay? Now, the next part after that is, it says solve for real A and B. I mean, you've got to figure out what A and B is. So we've got to multiply across, so 1 times A and 1 times B I. We're going to get A plus B I. Upon completion of that, you're going to multiply by reds. And then you're going to get 2 A I. Or 2 A times I. And then you're going to get uh, 2 I by B I. Anybody know what 2 I by B I is? 2 B I squared. And what's I squared again? Minus 1. And that's how much you multiply it out. Now, square root of 5 squared is 5. And then you're going to get, now you have to figure out which one is the real part. You can see that these two are real, so we're going to get a minus 2b is real. And then we're going to get, uh, the next part is going to be 2a, 2ai plus bi, and that's imaginary. Now what's the imaginary number on the right hand side? Is it there? Is there any i's on the right hand side? So that means it's 0i. So this means that the imaginary equation is 2a plus b and that has to equal 0 because it doesn't exist. The next one's going to be a minus 2b and that has to equal 5 because the real on the left equals the real on the right. Now guys, which letter would you like to get rid of? Uh, you can get rid of a if you want. I would recommend b because there's already a minus there. So if you multiply it by 2 you're going to get 2a, 4a plus 2b equals 0. You're going to get a minus 2b equals 0. And what you're going to get here is that uh, 5a equals 5. Oh, sorry. 5. And then you're going to get a equals 1. Happy enough with that? And b, therefore, would be if a is 2 times 1, 2 times 1 plus b equals 0. What does b have to be then? b equals minus 2. Okay, so it's all right. Okay, <laughs> let's begin here. Okay, uh, what it says next is if you take number 34, it says that x squared x squared equals nine. Verify that x equals plus or minus three. So you said x squared equals nine. You can solve this. Okay, you can do it two ways. First way is to square root both sides. And do you remember when you square root something, you have to have the plus and the minus answer. That's one way. Second way is to bring the 9 over the other side. And you get x squared minus 9. And you'll remember from your junior cert, a squared minus b squared is a plus b, a minus b. And what you can say there is, it's going to be x squared minus 3 squared. It's going to be x plus 3 x minus 3 equals 0 and then you can have x plus 3 equals 0 x equals minus 3 x minus 3 equals 0 x equals plus 3 alright there's your two answers done now here's the tricky part it says if a plus 3i equals 5 a is an element r what does a element r mean? a is any number a can be minus 1.4 it can be a fraction it can be a decimal it can be minus or positive. It just basically means get the answer for a. All right? So, what does modulus mean, lads? See the two big lines there? What do they mean again? So, what do the two big lines mean? So, if I said modulus a plus 3i, what have you always done? Squared the first one and squared the second one. So, it's going to be a squared plus 9. You happy with that? Oh, sorry. I, 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 yeah, I, 3 squared is 9, but you're right, I shouldn't have skipped that. a squared plus 3 squared equals what? 5. 
Now, you can square both sides if you want. You know what I mean by square both sides? What happens when you square a square root? You get rid of the root. So what we're going to get is a squared plus 9 equals 25. And now you're going to get a squared equals... Anybody? 16. A has to be... Four. Now read the question. Two possible values. Minus four. Plus four, minus four. Okay. Now, these are the last type of ones. Okay. And once again, they're actually quite easy. Now, what it says next is for 37. It says, if a plus ai is equal to one minus seven i, find two possible values of a. So let's figure this out. What's the modulus of a plus a I can anybody tell me? How'd you find that out? Squared of what? A squared plus whatever number comes in front of the I. A squared. It's whichever le ever letter or number comes in front of the I. So this one here? Square root of one squared plus minus seven squared or 7 squared, same thing. That's going to be root 50, and this is going to be 2a squared. Now guys, what happens now? What's, how do I finish this up? Square both sides. 2a squared equals 50. a squared, therefore, equals 25a equals plus 5 or minus 5. Okay, guys.